What's up? This is Casey from Casey's Customs, and in this series, I am building a hot rod truck for under $1,000. In this video, we finish up our custom vent windows, and we also install some mirrors. Let's get going. smoky it is in here <laughs> just from the back tires they're still smoking <laughs> like, i'm gonna do whatever i want with it now we're gonna have some real fun with this truck now since it's not mine <laughs> we had an awesome giveaway last week ronald reese page ended up winning the truck in the giveaway and james groski and joe heinbaugh both were runners up and they won a thousand bucks each so we had a guy win a truck we had two guys win a grand each really a lot of fun we had a good time um youtube wouldn't let me go live for some reason so i had to do it on facebook but i posted on youtube everybody should have seen it by now thank you everybody who got into it i said in the last video i got a ton of messages who were people were just saying they wanted to help the shop out it really means a lot so we get to do more cool stuff and we're definitely going to do another giveaway i don't know when a lot of people want to do the pontiac but the pontiac isn't really a build to me it's just kind of a it's too nice to really do much and it's a four-door so I don't hate four doors. I'm not one of those guys that hates four doors. They're just, they're not worth a ton of money. So you put, you put a thousand hours in that car, you don't make it back. I mean, you just never make it back. I need some suggestions. I got a couple cool bills lined up. Um, I need to find out which one's going to be our next, you know, weekly build. I definitely want to do all this again. This was fun. I don't know if it's going to be the under $1,000 challenge again, but something like that where a weekly build, we can watch the progress from, you know, the beginning to the end. So let's get on with the episode. This might be the video this week. Oh, this AC is amazing. Just get in my face. That didn't sound right. Okay, let's get to work. So, I got a little cheap mirror. A little, like, $13 vintage look-alike mirror. Obviously, for this project, super cheap. But it's actually a nice mirror. And... The holes for the mirror it had are right there, so we're going to put it right there to cover those up. Maybe pour a little bit. I actually like it. I don't hate it. I don't hate how it looks either. Not bad. Perfect, just a little mirror for the bitch. We are back on the window here and got the vent window put in. Obviously, whenever you chop them, your geometry has changed a bunch. So this is now down further than it used to be because our window has gotten smaller. So now my window channel down here is actually hitting. This is pretty common when you do these. We need to take about I don't know, two inches off of the actual channel because it doesn't need to be as big as it is now because, you know, the window's smaller and it's actually hitting whenever it's trying to go up. And another thing we have to do is we have to change the mounts on our vent window post. So these sit up here like that. Well, now that mount right there, this one, this is hard doing with one hand, it is hitting certain things that are moved over so what we need to do we need to take that mount and move it up to here somewhere you know three or four inches higher and then it'll mount up here instead of down here where it's running into shit so we need to cut up this and we also need to get in there and cut that up i really don't want to take the entire door frame apart to get to the window track just to cut it you know whatever an inch and a half so i'm going to see if i can't just kind of get in there and cut it where it's at. Hopefully I can just hold my grinder and get some of that off, but we'll see. That might end up backfiring. I end up taking the whole thing apart, which is really gonna suck if I have to do that. But uh, I don't know, I have an extra one somewhere. I thought, see, I have an extra one right here. So I know what it takes to get it in and out. The problem is taking them in and out is not only a pain in the ass, but it usually breaks stuff. Uh, when I took this one out, this top 
uh, that's the screw that actually bent it's, it's all bent to shit i don't even know if i can use it now so i don't want to really risk all that just to cut i just need to take off you know basically they're just this lip i don't know i said all that because uh i'm gonna try and cut it in there and it might not work <laughs> let's do that oh yeah check it out baby oh yeah back down uh, that's really good with no glass in it because your glass actually helps to keep it on track so whenever there's a you know a track in here your glass actually keeps all that straight they're kind of wobbly without the glass but i'm really happy with that okay now we need to take this mount and move it up probably to here somewhere i'll double check with my measurements but i want this up here because right now it goes down here and it's hitting my uh, my gears for the rolling it up. Yeah, you know, the gears for the rolling it up. Sometimes I can't talk, it's fucking videos are hard to do. But anyways, let's cut that up. Damn, those are strong rivets. So I had to move the lower mount also. Um, here we go. Here's the lower mount. Um, I had to cut these to get them out of the doors because the doors were in a bind. I ended up having to move that up about three inches. So that sits like that now. Inside the door, got it all taken back out, welded it. Here's what's really cool. Everything is actually bolted in now. I mean, this, this isn't going anywhere. We got a bolt up here, bolt up here, and then a bolt down there. And even cooler, focus, you piece of shit. Everything is perfectly on track, both sides, all the way down. It's the same angle, which is a real pain in the ass to match. But this is 100% done. We just need glass, which is awesome. So, oh, you still aren't focusing? Fuck you, you piece of shit. So uh, we need to do everything that we did here on the other side. Now I realize none of this is super interesting or fun, but this is just, this is part of, you know, hot rod. And like you will spend, anybody that's ever built a car, really built, you know, anything, you'll end up spending like a day on shit that nobody sees, like two custom mounts and then another mount up here. Like nobody will ever see any of that and realize like how much of a pain in the ass it is to get that the same angle on both sides so your glass doesn't twist going up, you know, yada, yada, yada. But we need to do all that on the other side now. So let's do that. One eternity later. We're gonna have to time lapse this because I'm gonna start yelling and throwing shit. Fucking cool. <laughs> All right, super solid, man. That makes me happy. Had to absolutely remake everything on that side, just like I did on the other side. But they're in. We just need that uh, C channel that pushes in. It's like a flexible C channel. We need that so the windows sit in. And then we need uh, to get some glass. I'm going to do it in plexiglass first. 
That way I can cut it myself, make sure it fits right. So let's, uh, well, what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna get some face time with the AC because it's so hot. Oh, I love this thing so much. Oh, just get on my face. Oh, anyways, so uh, let's go try and find some plexiglass. So I got horrible news. Um, I have spent the last three hours running around town looking for plexiglass or Lexan or something. One place had it and it was in red. <laughs> it was fucking bright red. You know what, actually, I think I even had a little piece left here from when I uh, cut out red. I used a, a red lens for the Porsche, but anyways, that's what it was. And I mean, it's just, you. it's like a tail light red. I obviously couldn't have used it. Even though I'm using the plexiglass to make my templates, I still want them to actually kind of be functional as a backup. You know, shit hits the fan, you'll have these to kind of throw in if you needed to. I mean, there's no reason not to do it because why wouldn't you do it in clear? They, it actually had plexiglass in them originally. So whoever was running this truck years ago, they actually were running plexiglass, but that plexiglass was all broken shit, so I can't use it. I spent three hours, I've been running all over town. It's Friday, so I'm kind of screwed on shit, but um, I went ahead and ordered some. It'll be here next Tuesday. Uh, obviously that's next week, so we'll just have to do that on the next episode. But also, my glass place is out of the C channel that I need. They don't have any, so I'm gonna order some of that. I think it said it would be here Tuesday or Wednesday whenever I looked it up online. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this episode right now because I'm gonna be waiting on shit. Uh, we got the mirror on, we got these mounted actually solid. Everything is working. Oh, I still haven't got my little hinge. Uh, my little hinge here broke. That way when it goes over, you can latch it and it won't just swing open, but that hasn't even came yet anyway. So we're waiting on parts and we're gonna go ahead and cut this episode short right here. So thanks for watching. Thank you very much for watching. I'm a little bit bummed out that I couldn't find any plexiglass because I wanted to go ahead and get started on my templates and uh, hopefully, you know, start making everything fit perfectly so we can finish up these windows and basically finish up this build. But I can't find it, everybody's out of it. Also, the window channel that I need, uh, my glass guy doesn't have that in stock either. So I got both of those coming next week. So we will pick up where we left off on the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff I tell you at the end of videos. And check out some more of my other videos. Peace.